Hi, welcome to Elite Coaching. My name is Francois Priest, and today we're talking about the Braverman test. So what do the results mean? A lot of my clients have been asking me, what do my results mean? Well, now you've answered the Dr. Braverman test, and that's going to allow me to identify what your neurotransmitter dominance is and what your neurotransmitter deficiency is. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for being able to do this video. Uh, it wouldn't have been possible without Charles Poliquin, who educated me on neurotransmitter dominance and deficiency. And of course, thank you for my clients for your interest in this video. So what does dominance mean? Well, neurotransmitter dominance basically allows me to identify what types of trainings your body will best to respond to. And that's gen genetic, so it's not something that uh, we can change. It's not something that changes over time. Uh, that is, and we can actually support a neurotransmitter dominance through certain types of foods based on what the person really needs. Deficiency is basically your limiting factor in your recovery. Uh, that can be supported through supplementation and changes in lifestyle can also help uh, improve your weakness or your deficiency. In Chinese medicine, there's five elements that we're talking about, the uh, fire, wood, earth, water, uh, and there's also metal, but we're really focusing on firewood and earth uh, as far as training is concerned. So if your dominance is dopamine, in Chinese medicine that would be fire, so that's what we call yang, so that would be the opposite of yin, so yang is the flame, and yin would be the opposite, so it would be more like uh, quiet and relaxed. So somebody who's dopamine is somebody who is very motivated, somebody who's very outgoing, uh, I mean, there's always room for interpretation in these results. It's important to understand that. Sometimes someone can be a mix of one and with a little bit of another one, but more leaning towards that certain type. So this is just to give you an overall idea of what your results actually mean. So somebody can be a little bit fire and a little bit wood, but mostly fire. So someone who's typically dopamine dominant, uh, someone who's going to like lifting heavy. Uh, somebody who is going to need longer breaks because they tire quickly. So often that's somebody who's more fast twitch, meaning somebody who's more for strength and explosion. Typically this type of person should not be training more than two or three consecutive days because this person will over easily overtrain if training too many days back to back uh, or if lifting also very heavy, which the person will be. A dopamine or a fire dominant person gets bored quickly the body adapts quickly so this type of person is going to need frequent variations in the training parameters so sets ex sets exercise selection reps tempo or sorts of things somebody who is more uh, wood dominant uh, that would be considered acetylcholine that is, that is still yang. It's someone who has typically has a great attention span, uh, but can also easily overtrain, but in a different way than fire or dopamine. This person, a wood person, would need more frequent decreases in volume. So what is volume? Volume is the number of sets and reps that we do in a workout. So basically, decrease in volume means the person would be doing less sets during that particular workout, maybe a little bit less reps too, a combination of both or one or the other. But a fire person can actually keep a training program uh, much longer than a dopamine or a fire type person. A wood person also often um, gets joint injuries such as tendons and things like that. Uh, earth is the other one that we really look at as far as training and earth is actually someone who is not dominant in any one of the neurotransmitter dominance results test. So an earth person is somebody who's going to be more stable, so somebody who doesn't like change as much. This person can keep a program uh, quite a bit longer also, but can train much more often uh, in some extreme cases, uh, this person could have be, actually be training every single day uh, for up to 30 days without taking a break. Obviously, this person would be more of a, 
uh, a trained athlete with perfect parameters, recovering very well, perfect nutrition, and rest. And for the average person, what it actually means is that you can train much more often than you can maybe train Monday through Friday, for example. This type of person, so a wood non-dominant person, tolerates also shorter break periods during the actual workout and can actually train for much longer, uh, much longer duration at a time. So this person could train for maybe an hour and a half, two hours at the most, whereas a fire or wood person could only train for 60 minutes maximum. Then it's, it becomes counterproductive. So obviously a earth or non-dominant person doesn't fatigue as quickly, so you can get more sets in, more reps, and this type of person is going to react better at those types of trainings. The other, the other categories that could come up as the results would be more uh, what we consider water types. Water types are not really present uh, in gyms because they're more the yin part, so more serotonin or GABA dominant, uh, which you see in the results of your test. And these, per these people will, will be more leaning towards uh, activities such as yoga, for example. So we don't really see them much in the gym. So for the deficiencies, the results are really explained in the questionnaire. And you also get an explanation of how badly deficient one can be. And what does that actually mean? Obviously, if someone's really deficient, they really need to seek help professionally, um, depending on how severe it could be. Somebody like me who could help them out or uh, maybe refer out to a doctor or something of the sort. So the deficiencies are essentially your weakness in your ability to recover. Somebody who does not sleep much, somebody who does not pay attention to their health, uh, does not pay, does not spend quality time for themselves to relax, basically is going to have some deficiencies such as GABA and that's obviously going to hinder one's ability to get results in the weight room. So that's something that I can really look at based on the person's needs uh, through bioprint consultations. Obviously, there's some basic stuff that we look at. Clients that we get more advanced to, we can look at some more specific, specific protocols if the basic stuff uh, is not working for them. So I hope that you have found this video helpful. Uh, it's not intended to be an entire course on dopamine deficiencies and dopamine dominance. But at least it gives you a bit of a crash course, if you want, on what your results actually mean. So yeah, you can actually better interpret them. And you'll see it written on your program, uh, the type of dominance or non-dominance that you are, and how I've adapted your training program in consequence. So thank you very much for listening. And if you like this video, uh, please uh, share it with your friends. Again, Francois Priest from Elite Coaching. Uh, you can check out our testimonials on our website elite-coaching.ca. Thank you.